I just wanted to make a little video to talk about my experience with Puppy Mills. So last Sunday, I went to Missouri and I bought a dog that was only $200 and he is a purebred golden retriever and we thought everything was fine when we picked him up and brought him home and then I took him to my parents house this week and we're just noticing more signs that he might be from a puppy mill like we don't know for sure but first I never received any documentation on his vaccines they just told me he was vaccinated and I dealt with like a middleman so the actual breeders weren't there when I bought the dog um, he's a really cute dog, really good dog. He pees a lot. Um, my mom has noticed that he's scared of the grass, but when we picked him up, him and his siblings, there was like five or six of them were like boarded up against the wall and they had like, it was in a barn and they had like shavings on the ground, but under that was cement. He has little scabs all over him that I think are from the other dogs just jumping around and scratching him. And yeah, but we don't know if he's vaccinated. He's scared of grass because he never had that interaction for nine weeks. I got him. They told me it was nine weeks, but he's actually 11 weeks. So for 11 weeks, I don't even know if he went on grass. Um, when you give him water, he downs it, just drinks it right away like he's never had water before. And he does the same with food. I even have a slow feeder bowl and he still whines when he can't get to the food but I will show him and I will include pictures of him in my presentation but this is Oakley are you camera shy are you camera shy so yeah he's a really good dog but we think that him and his siblings were part of a puppy mill say bye